show, we will close with an in-depth look at Front 242 as they just released their brand new LP, another one scheduled for the summer and a major tour in America, that is Lollapalooza 3, probably culminating in what is their biggest year in all of their career to date. This is Front 242. It doesn't mean anything. It's like I was looking for a very strong name um, that would be translated easily. And 242 comes from somewhere in me, like people say, damned. And I said 242. I don't know why. And the association came. <laughs> It was just after 77, so everybody was into doing things for themselves. The punk scene started a lot of things, uh, a lot of even business people making records. So it was difficult because there was nothing, but at the same time, I wouldn't say, I think it would be more difficult at this time to start even doing that than it was in those days. At the beginning, when we were in that, in that position, in fact, it was almost an obligation because there was nothing in this market in Belgium. There was no, nobody to reach about it. So what you tr your, your attempt to do is like build a very strong little unit, I would say, like other bands like Young Gods have to do probably too in Switzerland. And it, it makes you being very tough and uh, also gives you uh, a very uh, strong idea about what you want to do and because you're alone you're forced to have a very strong project and a very directional way of working. Uh, now that we, we're more comfortable uh, for the uh, last project, uh, we, we had the opportunity to work with other people. I don't remember precise time-wise what I was listening at that time, but I know I liked bands as uh, Can, Kraftwerk, English band Tobin Grissel, uh, and even earlier stuff, uh, German bands by names I forgot now, <laughs> but things like that, yes. Some bands are peaks in that kind of, of uh, music, but you're never conscious of what you're doing. It's, it's like uh, some other arts. If you just know after how important you, you were for that period. And at the same time, it's not, that's not the point for us. We keep going. We, we want to discover new things. We, we don't stop and think, well, now 
we're old enough or we did enough things, we'll stop here or we have that consideration. It's, it's not very important. Oh. Oh. I remember the first time we had our name in a magazine. Uh, uh, Jean-Luc and myself, we were just screaming in the street like mad. Now we sometimes have facts coming up like, hey, you're 43 in the UK charts, and we feel like, well. I'm so, I'm so glad to be your presence, but you don't seem to share my impressions. I relied upon you to break the silence. It's compartmented in front of her too. Uh, basically, Patrick and me, we do what we call the thinking job. Uh, we come up with ideas and then we propose them to uh, Jean-Luc, who is, known, is the lyricist and vocalist, and Richard, who is that too, but in a second stage. Uh, Richard is more the performer. Uh, of front to for two and then we see if they can come up with something uh, and if we need to expand like we did on the second album have a female singer coming in and do it we can't ask Jean-Luc to sing one octave higher so you go and you ask the people you need but we never did that in the before because it wasn't like for us it's like another career we are beginning so we see everything in a very open way. We, we don't want to have screens or uh, frontiers in what we want to reach. We are, I, for myself, are very bad in, I, would, I wouldn't do any good doing video. I can like give ideas, directions, uh, and I'm very strongly, uh, I want to be involved in that or not. Uh, but we're not, I'm not very good in video, and I think Front 2 for 2 has never been very good. What we are good in sometimes is finding people that work and do good things for us. And usually we give them total freedom of go wherever they want. Headhunter for Front of a Two, I decided to use a big egg. I can't remember why I decided this. It doesn't really matter, you know, it's there and it worked. We would like to be involved in a major soundtrack or even not a major. I, when I say major, I mean something that's not five minutes, uh, not a major movie. And also something where you are asked to create something instead of what we have now. They ask us, can we take that piece to put in the film? We would like very much to do uh, soundtrack music. We, all, we call the music we do, some part of it is already what we call soundtrack music. All that's left is here to remain It's a dull and cruel pain That passes the ages and altered First and this in my heart I still feel this in power I feel everything A blast
generally each album must be a challenge. Uh, but it's true that the fact that you release that cat uh, catalog makes you go through all those, those uh, I would say, old projects. And uh, it's quite a long career for us. And we felt that we were really on the edge. We did see that already with Tyranny for You, we, it was like, let's close that part of our life, of, of our existence, and try to think about something in the future. The release of Back Catalog was even more about that, was this is finished and now we want to go on to something else. We really needed to scream on this album. Uh, maybe more than ever, we have been influenced by some American movements, musical movements, that are also very screamy or with a lot of distortion. Um, I think when, when you want to change, there are not 200 ways of doing it. You have so many people expecting you to do the same thing, and it's so easy to release the same type tyranny for you, number two, and get your fans and, and maybe sell a little less records but still being okay. Um, challenge, risks, that's what makes life spicy. The basic start is that you want to change, you want to challenge yourself, and you, you're going to have to reconsider internally even your way of working. And at that level, the only way to challenge for us was to call other people and to try to mix those people with what we were doing and uh, trying that way to reach something different. What is very important to, is to keep the ID and know what you want as a result. And then the other people are kind of used with their talent, of course, but they're used in your project. And you keep something very um, personal at the end because you're like a movie director. You're in charge and control of most things. We liked all the people we asked to do this mixes. Also in the 80s, you could go for a mix and the mixer was reasonably transparent about it. In the 90s, I think mixers are, have such personality in so many cases that, of course, the risk that you don't have really a total 2 for 2 record, but almost like a prodigy or a orb or a Jim Thurrell mix, those chances are, we knew it. Uh, and all you can do is, I like the guy, I give him my material, and I trust him.
Andy Wall is, is a very unique character. He's a quite old guy, very wise. He's used to um, generally do more rock bands like Sonic Youth, Nirvana, Rage Against the Machine, all those bands. And it would have been so easy to choose an electronic producer like uh, Flood or Sherwood, which have a lot of qualities. But uh, again, here, we really want to have a shock in between two cultures, two way of, ways of doing. And for him also, it was a great challenge because he, he told us it has been 20 years he didn't do any electronic music and it was disco at the time. So suddenly this guy was in front of a mixing desk, like 48 tracks of just electronic stuff. It was very difficult for him to do it. But each evening when we came back to the studio, we gave him the ID in the morning and what we wanted to reach. And each evening when we came back to the studio, the surprise was, it was just great. We, we really liked what he did as a work. There was nothing to say. We probably would have done it differently. But the, the work he did, the general landscape of what he did was perfect. Even when you have your first album out, you don't think it is possible that somebody wants to get that album. Lollapalooza is the same thing. You don't imagine yourself being in a position. It's something at one point we were like, it would be nice to be on there. And then it's like a dream and you say, okay, forget it. We, we're not even, we won't even be considered to be there. And as a European band being one, the one European band there, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. We're not even English, so it's even nicer, I think. We wanted to do everything over again and start fresh. Um, and when we started, I remember each record was the first, but also the last one. And this record for the new Front 242 could be the last one, as it is also the first one. So you, you want to make a very strong statement and something that you, you're not ashamed of in two years. That's basically how I relate to music. Uh, I want to say something, I make no concessions about it, and I want it to be understood that if nothing comes afterwards, I have no excuse. This is it. Didn't, didn't you figure it? it each number is a, a letter of the alphabet. So 06 is F, 21 is U, 03 is C, and you know about the last one. <laughs> 